G'day trendsetters, I'm John with Gravel Cyclist and Distracting Dog, coming to you today with another no bull product review. This time around I present to you the Raval Terra C wheel set. A wheel set designed for unlimited potential for adventure. If you're a regular to the GravelCyclist.com website or Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel, you'll already have seen my unboxing and features, sneak peek features, video of this wheel set. Regardless, it's time to crack on with the real review. What's crazy about this wheel set? It's a brand name wheel set priced at US $1,000 with a lifetime warranty and a shit happens crash replacement policy. Raval has taken the notion of flagship performance and workhorse reliability, but brought it down to a level that just about everyone can afford. This wheel set retains the same hub and spoke architecture as the Hyazoot CL and CLX models by Raval. In fact, if you're interested in checking out my review of the Hyazoot top tier flagship CLX model, it is linked in the description below. The rims on the more wallet friendly Terra C wheel set are built using resin molding technology designed to maximize strength and material performance. The rim profile is also identical to the high zoot models I just mentioned, but of course you pay a weight penalty and overall the wheel set comes in at a claimed weight of 1610 grams. What are you doing dog? These rims cater to tires measuring 700C by 28 millimeter up to 700C by 47 millimeter. These wheels have a rider weight limit of 275 pounds or 125 kilos if you are metrically inclined. With that said, I think it's time to throw them onto the gram scale. Front wheel. 720, let's say 728 grams. Rear wheel. 887. That comes in at a total of 1,615 grams. For giggles, let's precariously balance the rear wheel on top of the front wheel. There you go, 1,615 grams, which is 10 grams over spec. However, these weights include the valves and the tubeless tape. So these wheels actually come in below spec. That's very impressive. The front wheel features 24 DT Swiss Competition Race j bean spokes in a two cross pattern on the disc side. On the Norton disc side, they've gone radial. I can vouch firsthand these are very strong and resilient spokes. I've had them built into many personal wheel sets over the years. The rear wheel features the same spoke count, the same spokes and the same nipples except in a two cross pattern on the drive side and on the non-drive side. Center lock interface for the rotor and 142 by 12 millimeters for the through axle. At the moment, the DT Swiss 370 rear hub is fitted with a Shimano 11 speed cassette body, but knowing DT, they have cassette bodies available for SRAM XDR and Campagnolo. Now, I know all of you are going to want to hear the free hub sound. So let's get it wound up to speed. Not too loud. That's the tech specs covered, now it's time to measure the rims. First up, the external rim diameter, and pardon the flashing, I need to change the battery in my calipers. 29.93 millimeters. Let's measure the internal diameter now. 24.71, hopefully you can see that in the sun glare. 24.6768, that's close enough. Rim depth is measuring in at 32.0304. Bang on spec. I reckon it's time to mount these tires up, so let's get them mounted up to the Raval Terra C wheel set. Time to inflate the Continental Terra Speed onto the Raval Components Terra C wheel set. It's a dry mount, meaning there's no sealant inside. I always use Orange Seal Endurance Formula, the best sealant going. I've also taken the liberty of removing the valve core 
for maximum airflow and the secondary cylinder in the Bontrager TLR flash charger pump is inflated to 155 psi. This is the latest version of the pump. Time to release the air, fingers crossed. That, my friends, is the sound of success. That's the tire mounting procedure covered. How do the Terra Reval C wheels ride? Weighing just over 1600 grams, these wheels aren't going to set the world alight with high zoop performance, but performance is good enough for short, medium, or all day gravel cycling fun, no matter your flavor. For racier performance, you're better off checking out my review of the Reval Terra CLX wheel set Review is linked below. My experience with DT Swiss hubs has always been good and no exception with the Terra C wheel set. High quality materials abound and non-rocket science spokes or spoke patterns to worry about. Reval engineered this rim to accept tires from 28 mm up to 47 mm wide, but I don't see why you couldn't go crazy and just slap some 50s onto it. To allow this versatility, Ravel has stuck with hooked rims, which especially play well with 28mm tyres at higher pressures, if so inclined. At 32mm deep, the rim is shallow enough that it won't blow about the place in crosswind conditions, but with some placebo aero action due to the rim profile that you may get some benefits from. Just remember, these gravelly width tyres often act like a sail, which can be good and bad. 24 spokes front and rear is becoming a standard spoke count for disc brake wheels of this nature, and my 160 poundish weight couldn't budge them laterally. And it's good to see Reval thinking of larger, powerful riders with a weight limit of 275 pounds or 125 kilos. If you set your tire pressure correctly per the handy chart I have linked below, you'll appreciate the pleasing ride of these wheels across all terrains. Once upon a time, 24 spokes may have provided a rather unforgiving, overly stiff ride experience, but with wider rims and hence wider tire casings, lower pressure, that's no longer the case. The Reval Terracy wheels are still as true as the day I remove them from the box, and I'll expect they'll hold up nicely for you too. With their rather stealth nature and very subtle branding, these wheels will suit the look of most bicycles. My only quibbles are the weight of the wheel set, which admittedly is still quite respectable, but at the price point of US $1,000 with a lifetime warranty, the Reval Terra C therefore goes far beyond wheels, weighing about the same, who may use potentially dodgy open mole rims and likely costing several hundred dollars more. 1,000 US dollars is still a lot of coin to drop for a lot of riders, but give thought to that warranty and no fault crash replacement and the brand name. The Reval Terracy wheel set is a tough deal to beat. So there you have it, trendsetters. My review of the Reval Components Terra C wheel set. I realize nowadays there are so many wheels on the market for your gravel bike. In fact, it blows my mind how many options there are so i hope that my review went some way into helping you make an informed purchase decision thank you for watching if you haven't already please consider subscribing to the gravel cyclist youtube channel for no bull product reviews bike reviews ride experience videos and other madness as all of it is released to the channel i'll see you and you in the next video